Since time immemorial, land and water have constituted the basic elements essentially required for sustaining all forms of life. Great civilizations flourished on our planet Earth wherever these resources were abundant to support agricultural crops and other production systems. Over a period of time, increased biotic pressures coupled with excessive exploitation and unscientific management of these natural resources led to severe land degradation problems. Out of the total degraded land area of 121 million hectares in the country, ravines alone account for 3.6 million hectares across different states. The Soil Conservation Research Demonstration and Training Center at Agra was established in October 1957 for conducting research and developing technologies and strategies for reclamation and productive utilization of ravines and adjoining marginal lands along the river Yamuna and its tributaries in the states of Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. Later on, this center, along with other such centers under the Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India, were transferred to the Indian Council of Agricultural Research in 1967 and subsequently brought under the administrative control of the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun, or CSWCRTI, in 1974. Research Center Agra is mandated to address the ravine problem of River Yamuna and to conduct research on soil and water conservation, watershed management, agricultural crops, forestry and agroforestry with the aim to enhance overall productivity of different production systems in arable and non-arable lands. The research center has a well laid out research farm of 81 hectares for conducting research and demonstration on soil and water conservation watershed management, rain-fed farming, and horty silvy pastoral systems for arable and non-arable lands. The center is well equipped with laboratories, a library, a seminar hall, a meteorological observatory, a guest house, a training hostel, an heiress cell, and lecture hall facilities to accomplish its mandate effectively. To accomplish this mandate, the thrust areas of research have been organized into seven research programs, namely Water Erosion Appraisal in the Yamuna Ravine Region Conservation Measures for Sustainable Production Systems Hydrological Behavior of Watersheds for Conservation Planning Rehabilitation of Areas Affected by Mass Erosion Participatory Integrated Watershed Management socio-economic analysis and policy development for watershed management, and human resource development and technology transfer. The center has developed and evaluated technological options for arresting extension of ravines and their reclamation and improving productivity of the rain-dependent production systems in the Yamuna ravine region. The center has developed soil erosion and soil loss tolerance limit maps of Uttar Pradesh state. These maps show that despite relatively low average annual rainfall, water-induced erosion is a serious problem in the region. Over the years, the research center has evolved a number of cost-effective resource conservation technologies for reclaiming degraded ravines and their productive utilization under arable and non-arable lands. Deep tillage once in three years has been found to be an effective agronomical measure for in-situ moisture conservation in arable lands. This has increased the yield of pearl millet during Kharif and wheat during the rubby season by 77% over farmers' practice. Intercropping system comprising of pearl millet and cowpea or green gram has reduced the soil loss by more than 50% over sole crop of pearl millet besides enhancing the productivity of crops under rain-fed conditions. To sustain the productivity on arable lands, prominent crop rotations like green manure followed by mustard or wheat and green gram followed by castor are more remunerative and sustainable cropping systems for the region. 
providing life-saving irrigation to cotton at 21 days after sowing in the cotton wheat cropping sequence was found to be more remunerative than pearl millet wheat cropping sequence under limited irrigation conditions. Cultivation of low moisture, low nutrient demanding medicinal crops like aloe vera in the interspaces of old bare trees yielded 300 quintals per hectare per year of fresh leaves of aloe vera worth rupees 40,000 per hectare per year as an additional income. For effective tree root management of bear in agri-horticultural system, planting of bear trees in the bottomless old bitumen drum was found effective in reducing root competition and significantly increasing the yield of pearl millet and wheat crops compared to other root management options. For the reclamation of degraded ravine areas and their productive utilization, Sylvie pastoral system comprising of fodder and fuel wood species with staggered contour trenches was found to be more effective in reducing runoff and increasing the fodder yield by four folds apart from increasing the density of trees through natural regeneration over the degraded ravine areas in the semi-arid region. To prevent ravine extension, the planting of Ipomia cardnia and Prosopis tuliflora on ravine banks was found to be cost-effective vegetative measure. For protection come productive utilization of ravine beds, the planting of bamboos is an effective and economical measure. About 4,000 to 5,000 mature culms of bamboo can be harvested per hectare annually from the ravine beds. Here, जो लोग आए हुए थे उन्होंने हमको तकनीकी बताई उस हिसाब से हमने खेती की और हमारी पैदावार भी बढ़ी खेत की मेड़बंदी भी कराई मेड़बंदी कराने से खेत एक एक सार कराए अब पानी के साधन से उसमें गेहूं बाजरा सब फसल ला सब फसल होने लगी है ये उन्होंने हमको शिक्षा दी कि बांस लगाओ बांस से बड़ी फायदा होती है बांस से मिट्टी कटना बंद हो गया तो हम तो उनके आभारी है the cost-effective soil conservation structures like prefabricated drop structure and modified shoot spillway were developed and demonstrated at the farmer's fields and found effective in safely disposing of the runoff water from the area. For diverting the river current away from the bank, the construction of jetties along the sloping downstream were found effective in reducing flow velocity up to a longer distance and protecting the river banks. The banks stabilized after a few years through natural regeneration. The center has undertaken several programs sponsored by various ministries of the center and state government, such as the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Rural Development and Ministry of Water Resources for effective dissemination and demonstration of developed technologies at the farmers' fields following the watershed approach. The center conducts various types of tailor-made short-term courses of one to two weeks duration in the field of soil and water conservation, agroforestry and watershed management sponsored by the central and state governments, autonomous bodies and NGOs. The center has undertaken several outreach programs to create mass awareness about the technologies related to the conservation of soil and water and watershed management. These include field demonstrations, Farmers' Day, National Resource Conservation Week, National Science Day, etc. The Research Centre at Agra, under the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun, is actively working to tackle the problems of depleting natural resource base in the Yamuna Ravine system effectively through the development of appropriate technologies for reclamation and efficient utilization of ravine lands. This will help in improving productivity and in turn food and livelihood security of resource-poor farmers in the region.